Yeah. <laughs> Just press every button. Every button that's not lit up, light it up like a Christmas tree. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Alien Isolation. As in the last part, as we were about to escape and dock the Torrens, we, um, the alien picked us up and brought us to his little um, his den and there's some little baby aliens running past there. And uh, we're trying to make our way back to where we were, to um, try and dock the Torrens still. Hopefully the Torrens are still, still there and we can actually dock it. The lady driving it hasn't actually got off, I hope. So... We made our way quite a bit back towards the Torrens and it... Oh, fuck. Okay. Time to stop talking and um, think... Okay, jump on the ladder, jump on the ladder. Okay. <laughs> um, do we climb up? Oh, seems we don't do anything. I thought that was going to fall, right? Why am I climbing this? Do I... Can I... I can, oh, I can climb down. Okay. So... I don't even... Know. Oh, fuck. Shit! Jesus! Oh! This is constant madness, this game. Uh, what's this guy got on him? Okay, I just climbed. I was meant to him, him loot that guy. Berlaine! Berlaine, are you there? Please tell me! Okay, flame fuel there, honey? Save quickly. You down. Okay, so we're back where the alien picked us up the first time. Okay, I think I think we saved. Didn't actually give me the option to press yes. Release the torrent. Okay, can we pick up the suit again? Can we get dressed? Release the torrent. Okay, get the other costume then, because that one's not good enough. Costume, I mean suit. This time, don't spend ages looking at it and get the alien to dribble on you and then take you away. This is exactly what just happened. <laughs> Okay, actually put it on this time. Now let's go outside. Hope, of course, the alien can still breathe outside because it's an alien. So we're not completely safe just yet. The Torrens is actually still connected to the Sebastopol. So we need to disconnect it. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can't use any infantry items. I was going to heal. Because my health's so low. Alright, so we're stepping out. Where is, is that the Torrens? That bit there. What what bit's the torrents? Oh, okay, we're just gonna jump inside this lift. It's gonna take us up to, to where we need to be. Is that the torrents there? How big is the torrents? It's huge, right? Obviously not as big as Sevastopol, but it's big, I think. Alright. I think we may have been here before. Yeah, we've been in this Is it this exact side we came out last time where we had to adjust the satellites? I really can't remember. Let me see if you can look at the map, see where we're gonna go. <gasps> That's a massive walk! It's, look at that, we gotta walk all the way down that yellow thing. That big girder. The bridge. So, we're gonna manually release the torrents at the end. And then hopefully jump in the torrents and fly home. So, I don't believe that we've seen the last of the alien. <sighs> this isn't gonna go well, is it? Oh, God, I have no idea what's gonna happen. If we're going to make it, or if the alien is just going to eat us up. I can't see this game being a happy ending. With the amount of shit that's gone on in it. Everyone's died so far. Literally everyone that we've encountered, apart from the woman that we... That was flying the torrents the whole time. I mean, the woman that's flying this torrents, she must be a good friend of Ripley. Because <laughs> otherwise she'd be like, fuck this, I'm getting out of here. She's, she's willing to stay behind to help us out, which is quite, it's quite nice. It's a friend for life, that, I think. Oh, the sound went a bit weird there, disconnected and came back. Alright, so... Stairway to heaven. Or hell. Which one is it going to be? What's going to be at the top? Uh, I can't see over the top of the stairs. Okay. Okay. So, we... What are, we, what are we doing? I'm here, Relaine. There should be two priming mechanisms to unlock manual release. 
I see them. Prime, prime the release mechanisms. How do you do that? How do you do that? Do I do these? Or is there something on the outside? Verlaine, help me. Shit, I've fallen down. Do I... What do I actually physically do? Do I use this? Do I... What do I do? Oh, I got behind them. Keycard required. Keycard access. Let's pull this down. Keycard is in there. Use keycard. So I got to do this on both of them. I think I've done it. Have I done it now? I think all you have to do is swipe the keycard. That yeah, that's disconnected one side, it looks like. So um, we're gonna go around to the other one now. Disconnect this one. Keycard access, pull the lever. Strange how the keycard is there. We may as well just have to switch there. Release. Okay, that side's released now as well. So am I standing on the torrents right now? Emergency release bolts. <laughs> Just press every button. Every button that's not lit up, light it up like a Christmas tree. Activate. Yes, go on, let's do this. What am I doing? What is that? Looks like speakers. So I gotta pull all these out. What's it even just do? So I gotta do all these. Alright, so she unscrews it. She pulls it out. And she turns that and it puts a finger in. Puts a finger out. Slides that back. That's doing something now. Okay, let's just do all these. Just just press X on them all. It's a long process. It's I mean, this is pure emergency use only because you've got to physically remove everything yourself. You can't just push a button. It's not programmed to push a button. You've got to physically break it. Okay. So that's the last one. Okay. Now the torrent is below us, I think. Are we on the... I don't know what... Alright, shit's falling apart. Oh, fuck. Alien. Two aliens. Has that alien just fallen over? Okay, there's two aliens. Am I dead? Am I gonna die? Three aliens. There's like four aliens. I pressed the release at least. Uh... So is that the explosion of the Sevastopol, or is that explosion of that separating the torrents? I think that's just the Sevastopol that's getting blown up, isn't it? So did we make it into the torrents? Oh shit, what that? They crashed into a planet? planet's that? Is that Saturn? I don't even know. Is it a made up planet? Get to the bridge. Relaine, I'm on my way up to the bridge. The bridge is the um can I put my suit away? Meet Verlaine on the bridge. The bridge is like there, the where you fly the plane. Spaceship, not a plane. Okay, do I know where the bridge is? This is where we start the whole game. Imagine if we get to the bridge and the Verlaine's like an alien or something. This whole time she was the alien. She is the mother to all the aliens. Can we put our suit away? Do we need to put our suit away? Let's just, let's just wear it in case. Elaine? Shit. Oh, please. <laughs> Fuck! I can't do anything. Fuck, am I dead? Is the game over? <laughs> Down, press L, hold left stick to go backwards. Oh, fuck. Okay. Why has he not killed me yet? Left. Right. What am I doing? Push the button. Is this gonna kill myself and him? Oh shit. Oh. 
So me and the alien went into space, and now Villain is just floating in. Uh, Ripley is dead in space. Did did Villain survive? Was she in the bridge? Am I dead? <sighs> Fuck. Did we get saved? There was a light. She looked like she may have opened her eyes. I'm going to imagine that she opened her eyes and, um, oh, someone died. Dedicated to the memory of our friend and colleague, Simon Franco. Poor guy. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to imagine that the ship came there, that light, and we didn't die, and it picked us up, and we went home and had some cookies and tea. So, yeah. Long ass game. That was a fucking. That I don't think it's a long game. It's just that it takes a long time to finish because of the amount of deaths you have. Like death dying is like almost inevitable in this game. Although you can still fit and do well. Ah, oh, it's just hard. It's really hard. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the game. I think they made the game a lot longer than what it needed to be. There was a lot of faffing around, going backwards and forwards to, and like filler. Like like I said in one of the previous videos when I was playing it that. You physically walk everywhere you go in the game. There's no cutscenes transitioning you from A to B. The times you travel a long distance without actually physically physically walking is when you jump on a transit car. So the whole process of the story is very long. You know, it takes the amount of time that it would take the, the story to take in real time. There's no like shortening it or anything like that. But um, overall, yeah, the alien interactions has done so well. The way it's random every single time. There's no um, specific pathing of the alien patrol patterns. You just have to use your instincts, and sometimes you have to wait the wait for the alien to leave for like five minutes because it's just stalking around the same place. And the next time you play that section, you might not even have to wait at all because the alien might not even be there. It's just so good how the, how random it is. I think a lot of critic like IGN they reviewed this game and they said a downside to the game, a con, is that the alien's too random. The AI is not. It's too random. <laughs> it's, it's fucking amazing now. A good the AI can think on its own. That's good. That's not that's not a bad point. That's that's a selling point. Anyway, that that's my views on the game. I I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm glad I played it. It's it's not as scary as you might think it might be because it's more about just being stealthy and. Because there wasn't there aren't planned jump scares. Everyone's experience is quite different. There are some scripted sections, but the majority of the game is you doing your playthrough. Your your playthrough is unique to you. And there is jump scares now at times where the alien just drops down in front of you. But um and the weapons as well that they give you, they're not overpowered and they're not shit. They do work. I never use the bullet weapon on a Alien. I only used fire because I know they're scared of the fear of fire when they run away from it and all that. So, um, I mean, if the game had no weapons, it'd be pretty. It might be scarier in a way, but it'd probably be a lot more frustrating because you've got that emergency button to go boop, shoot the flame flow at the alien when he's going to fuck you up. So, yeah. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I enjoyed the game. I hope you did too. See you next time. Bye.